MXL A-Level Maths Statistics, October 2021, Question 3. Stav is studying the large data set for September 2015. He codes the variable daily mean pressure x using the formula y equals x minus 1010. The data for all 30 days from Hearn are summarised by the sum of y equals 214 and the sum of y squared equals 5912. For part a we need to state the units of the variable x. So we do this by just looking at the large data set. We find the column for daily mean pressure and the units are written on there and they are HPA or if you want to write it out long they are hectopascals. For part B we need to find the mean daily mean pressure for these 30 days. So we're looking for the mean for x but we've coded this into y. And we know that when we do the coding, if we're looking at the mean, we use exactly the same formula coding the mean as we do for coding the original variables. So y bar is going to equal x bar minus 1010. So rearranging this, we get that x bar is going to equal y bar plus 1010. y bar is just going to equal the sum of y over how many days we've got. So 214 over 30. So if we do that, add on the 1010, we get 1017.1. For part C, we need to find the standard deviation of daily mean pressure for these 30 days. So again, we're trying to find this for X, which has been coded, but when we're dealing with standard deviations, the adding or subtracting part of coding doesn't affect the standard deviation because you think standard deviation is just a spread. So adding and subtracting to everything isn't going to affect that. So in our coding, x isn't being multiplied, it's just that minus 1010. So our standard deviation x is going to equal the same as a standard deviation for y. So we can work this out. Here's our formula for the standard deviation. It's the square root of the sum of y squared over n minus the square of the mean. So Putting our numbers into there, we've got 5,912 over 30 minus the square of 214 over 30, which gives us a final answer of 12.1. Stav knows that in the UK, winds circulate in a clockwise direction around a region of high pressure and in an anti-clockwise direction around a region of low pressure. The table gives the daily mean pressure for three locations from the large data set on the 26th of September 2015. The cardinal wind direction for these three locations were in random order west, northeast and east and we can assume that these three locations were under a single region of pressure. So for part D, using our knowledge of the large data set we need to place each of these cardinal wind directions in the correct location in the table give a reason for our answer. So here's the map with those places on. So we're looking at Heathrow and Hearn down in the south of England and Lucas up in Scotland. First thing to check is what kind of pressure do we have? Well, if we take our mean pressure and add on the standard deviation, using our values that we've calculated, we get 1017.1 plus 12.1 which equals 1029.2. So this is approximately the daily mean pressures that we've been given in the table, very close to 1029 and 1028. So as our mean pressures in the table are a standard deviation above the mean, we can say that they must be high pressures. As it's high pressure, it's going in a clockwise direction, which we've been told in there. So looking back to our map, the wind is coming around in a clockwise direction. So putting arrows on our three locations to match up with the wind going round clockwise, we could see that at Lucas, it's going to be coming from the west, traveling towards the east. Heathrow is going to be coming in from a northeast kind of direction, and Hearn is going to be coming in from the east. So these arrows are just sort of following that clockwise direction of the wind. Now to match up with the cardinal wind directions. So these are going to be the directions that the wind is coming from. So looking at the arrows that we've just added to there, putting the information to our table, Heathrow is going to be northeast, 
Hearn is coming from the east and Lucas is coming from the west. If you've enjoyed this video, remember to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel to keep up to date with all the latest releases.